We're just having a ton of fun today. We have our friends from Fontaine, from Accurite Millwrights. It's called Accurite Mechanical. You can kind of see right here what they do. Millwrights, fabricators, riggers. They also do machinery moving. They basically maintenance and do moving and heavy machinery moving. It's for like these huge companies. What we're working on today is, so Fontaine Airways here on the ground here. We're installing airway scales. We absolutely love these airway scales. I've been friends with them for, I've been working with them for over six years and they interact with me a lot on social media, on Instagram and a lot of the other platforms. Um, and they've actually flown a videographer all the way to our facility here at TM Trailer Sales from Eugene, Oregon. Sorry, I'm kind of walking around and have a little walk and talk. Machinery movers, transportation, mechanical, fabrication, rigging. They really do do a lot at Accurite, but they've been kind enough to come out here, wash their whole truck, detailed it, brought me this blue telehandler, let us use the truck and one of their employees for the day. Uh, this has really been a big team event here. Fontaine Magnitude 55. So it's a 55 ton trailer, 26 foot deck. What's cool about this one is y'all have seen stainless packages on Fontaine for many years. They have the stainless package. This is not a traditional stainless package. This is actually a really heavy duty decal kit and it's in a brushed titanium finish. Like you can actually feel the brushed strokes in it. So that's pretty cool. It's got all your standard options, 102 inch swing, two lockable toolboxes in the front. This one's in a Viper red. I don't know if it's showing up in this bright sun out here, but it's a Viper red. It's got the two cam paws that go down into the casting racks here to get you seven adjustable ride height settings. It'll carry a cool 110,000 pounds. Got all your traditional swing out outriggers, stuff you see on the channel all the time. But I wanted to give Airway a shout out. I want to give Accurite a shout out because they're really cool people. And then I want to talk more about the Airway scales. Like, how does this help my viewers, my customers? How can it help them to be safer? How can they be compliant with the DOT regulations? And how can they save money and make money with them? So as you see here, it's a digital scale. It gets calibrated empty. And then you go back to the scale house and get your heavy weight. That's what we were doing in the video today. Where Airways video calibrate it once it's heavy. And then now you know how much weight is on these three axles. So say you're loading this piece of equipment up and you see it's not scaling properly. You can move it forward or backwards a foot before you chain it down and get all the way to the DOT scales or the cat scales. You already know where do you need that equipment. Or if you're on a step deck and you're doing partials or something like that, then you'll know, can you carry another pallet on there? Can you take one more partial load? We've got the flashers on. So it has a battery powered box. What that does is if you're detached from the neck, you still have battery power supplying power to your strobe. So if you're detaching on the side of the road uh, and you need your uh, strobe lights, you'll have strobe lights back there, even when detached from the trailer, the next detached from the trailer. So that's cool. It's got your traditional dump valves to dump all your air. It's got your lift valve to lift your third axle. You can see this third axle is off the ground at the moment. And then we've hidden the scales down in the bolster there. They have a, we call this a whittle valve, whittle, W-H-I-T-T-L-E. And what that does is it actually changes the position of your leveling valve. So you can go up or down on that and it'll actually raise or lower your suspension, but it's doing it kind of the traditional way with your leveling valve. So that valve right there, the blue one, it has a bar behind it that slides up and down. And so that just like mechanically changes the position of your leveling valve to adjust your ride height. So it's good for going over railroad tracks, under tall bridges, and so forth and so on. Or you can change the front ride height with those cam paws we looked at. So pretty cool stuff. Then look at this truck. Look at these freaking stacks on the truck. He's got a big light bar on top of his truck too. I'll get the drone up and show us some drone footage. He's got strobes in the bumper. He's got the iconic Peterbilt emblem. Tire shine on the tires. This one's got additional seven button lights. It's called an extra light package. It's got extra button lights. So there's seven of them going down the side. Y'all seen recently in some of the videos we did where we'll add more lights in the neck. I don't know what this customer, this customer, this customer has already bought this trailer 
a customer has bought this trailer. I don't know what they're going to have me do in the shop. It just got here last night. We've been having it ready for this project to do the airway videos. And so we'll see what, what this customer wants us to do for the rest of the trailer and upcoming videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three three trips to the scale. And then I can argue with the DOT guy too. I can be like, uh, no fat boy. So uh, this is, here. this is Justin <laughs> with Accurite <laughs> and this Ohio is Marty with Ohio airway, Ohio like, like the nine, airway nine, scales. So you can see like, he's got his camera gear and he wouldn't tell me in his he hand. Say, okay, listen, he's like a legit he's videographer. He's been at our place like, for three okay. days, <laughs> filming all the installation, <laughs> okay. calibration okay, of this unit. And so they're, they're kind of talking about, I don't want to talk over him. They're talking about how the airway is game changing for their, their units, how, how it saves them time from going to the scales. The scales cost a little $13 plus $4 to reway plus your fuel plus your time. Plus, if you got a ticket on the way to the scales, so they're just going over all the different ways that airway is going to help. Also, the app, like you can see the scales. So you're up in this telehandler and you're trying to figure out, do you need it back a foot or forward a foot? And it'll tell, it'll tell you on the app, like from your phone before you even get out. That's my nice my profile is Mr. Twisted. So, Mr. Twisted. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to look. All right, so y'all heard that. If y'all if y'all want to see them, I'm gonna try my best. That's his, that. that's where he's at. Yes, sir. So I, I was introducing y'all again. Okay. This is Marty Airway with, with Airway, yeah. Yeah. and this is with Accurite Mechanical. Justin with Accurite yeah. Mechanical. And I was telling them y'all were going over some of the ways that Airways can help, and y'all. Oh were, man, Airway. They came up with a bunch. Genius, man. It's so. It removes all the guesswork of loading the trailer. And then you're not sitting there looking like an idiot with the DOT cop on the side of the road because you're prim and proper. You you can say with confidence, go ahead, take a peek. You can watch him pull out his portable scales, sweat half to death because he missed the gym for about three months. I don't know if y'all seen a DOT cop. Man. He's yes. not in the best of shape. Allegedly. Let him fight with the scales Allegedly. and all that. And when he gets done, go. You're welcome. You're welcome, officer. Yeah, just tell say, officer. And also, too, just because you want to make it easy on the officer. You're like, no, look, I got I got the scales right here. No yeah. worries. Yeah, you just no say, worries. officer. I'm legit. I'm compliant. Yeah. The only way is airway. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the new catchphrase for uh, oh, airway. Yeah. Uh, made by Justin here. Yes, sir. The only way is airway. That's right. We, we say it. We have, like, the nice shampoo bottle. The only way. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only way is airway. Rinse, lather, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse, lather, repeat. I love Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it before. So, anyways, we we're, we're, we're sitting here, we're sitting here kicking, kicking back. But in all in all seriousness, it really is like legit. I've been dealing with airway like six, seven years. Every time I call them, they answer the phone. They if they don't answer the phone, they call me back. If I have any issues. Uh, which inevitably, you know, issues rise up when I, when you have hundreds and thousands of customers. And I literally do have that many customers that run airway scales. If a problem run, arises, their support team answers the phone, they call me back. You know, they're really, they're really the cat's meow. And I can't say that about every vendor, but airway over the years I've been dealing with them has just been honestly one of the best I've worked with. I met uh, Jim McLean up at the show in Baltimore. We went to the Baltimore Toe Show and that's how this whole um project got put into action i talked to jim and i was like hey jim i was like i'm gonna do some instagram videos some youtube videos of airway scales and he was totally on board he's like we we hired a videographer recently and uh, i'd like to send him down to tm trailer sales to do some filming with y'all we want to see like a bright red trailer we also did the green trailer um we want to see you know something that's aesthetic for his uh customers for his tutorial videos on how to install and so Jim McLean was really cool. Anyways, I'm going to take a quick lap around this beautiful truck. Uh, and then we'll give y'all a little, as usual, some drone footage. Final part. We got to get this uh, telehandler. I think they call it a telehandler. Yeah, it's a telehandler. Let's say it with confidence. Telehandler. So he's going to get this telehandler back off of a Fontaine Magnitude 55. So if you've never seen this before. That's a nice piece of machinery there. So that's the uh, thing. I had to get my drill before they pop that down. So that's where the neck is. That's detached. Boom, boom, boom. It's a really low approach. It's not really that bad. We got all the chains off, you know. I'll tell you, man. Airway is the only way. That thing's cool there. 
So it's like, it's calibrating itself back now. Yeah, it's setting for now the weight of the truck and the trailer. So tear. Cause it's still got some, it's gonna be a little off. And then we'll show. No way I'll go without airway. (laughs) No, no way at all. Yeah, no way. And then we'll show y'all how to get the neck attach back up. Oh yeah. Set this grinder back down. Don't ask us what we were doing with the grinder. Yeah. Uh, turns out he didn't buy his chains at Mighty and affiliate link in the, uh, bio. I've got those somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, got those somewhere else, and uh, we're paying the consequence. Now they're actually good chains. They just had some uh, wear and tear on them. So you can see, like right here, the frame jack is down. So he's like got the neck of the trailer rested onto the bed of the truck. I'm gonna grab the phone with my other hand, so I can kind of help guide him. So you'll see there that lug goes right into the guide plate. Oh, yeah. Make sure you let this up first. So he just let that frame jack up. Yeah, frame jack first. That way you don't bend the frame. He's going to go up on the hydraulic handle. You'll see it's going to pi- kind of bite down on the bed of the trailer there, on the deck. Yep. With the bright viper red. Yep. The viper red claws of death there. So if got... she's locked, that means you're cocked and ready to rock. If, you, if she's locked, you're you're ready to roll. Then we got to get that lock pin in. Let me see. Yep, lock pin yep. slides in smooth as butter. And he's going to get the, uh, that'll that be your ride height. Right there. Plug the airlines up. So down here is a little cubby where you can store your airlines. And your electrical seven-way. And if you're a new truck driver, they got them color-coded. Color-coded. And they're contrary to one another. On top of that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a quarrelsome argument in your relationship words you know, these are words driving. to live by yeah so you see them locking in the air and she goes boom 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 yeah normally i would take off right here but since i'm dropping the trailer he's dropping the trailer for the moment so, so he's going to show you up. how to pick it up he's going to get that cam paw out of the way and we leave the pin in leave the pin in down there easy peasy lemon squeezy when you drop it all the way down to detach make sure you lift the neck off the train He's good to go right there. So he's good to go. He's going to get his airlines disconnected. Or his PTO off. So he's going to get his airlines and, and hydraulics disconnected. Oh. Electrical airlines and hydraulics. Justin's been trucking oh, hey, for a long up, time. Let me move my fifth wheel up. I had to move, move my He's going to slide his fifth wheel. He was uh he slid it to where he needed it for this trailer. But uh he's going to have to move it a little bit. So if y'all ever seen, he's got a sliding fifth wheel. The heavy haul kind of deal there. So it's got an airlock. And then you see those teeth on that fifth wheel plate or the fifth wheel on the deck of the, on the bed of the truck. So now the fifth wheel is going to slide to what position he needs it in. And then it's going to airlock itself back in. He just tugged on it so he can make sure his fifth wheel is locked. And that's Go on these. Make sure you look. Yep. Yep. And then you see those teeth there. That's where that uh, sliding fifth wheel goes. And then that curly line down low is where the airline goes to actuate the lock. He just unlocked the fifth wheel here. Now he's going to detach the lines. Hydraulics and electrical. Emergency service. And- now the fun part. Yep. Mind you, the couplers are going to look weird because we have adapters at our shop to, so that we can kind of adapt to all these different types of trailers that we have to hook to. And Justin was here doing us a favor, so we got it hooked up to his truck. Hold that. Yeah, hold that right there. As you can tell, hydraulics is usually a little yeah, pain in the butt. Do you see my trick? I wiggle the handles. Yeah. <laughs> so it relieves the pressure. If you ever get your your hydraulic line stuck, you just toggle toggle your handles real quick. It relieves the pressure because there'll be some hydraulic pressure built up in there. Uh, if I wasn't here filming, I would have thought of that and like helped them, but uh, I'm just a guy. So yeah, that brushed titanium decal looks great. Easy peasy.